Ethiopia is a country seen by the world as a symbol of poverty and hunger. Because a third of the population, or 120.3 million people, live without clean water. In 2019, around 31 percent or one-third of the population depended on unsuitable water for their daily needs. Around 8.6 percent of the 31 percent population takes drinking water from rivers, lakes and other sources that are considered unsuitable. Meanwhile, 22.5 percent continue to drink unsafe water from hand-dug and natural springs. Apart from the lack of sources of consumable water, around 22.35% of people in Ethiopia defecate in the open. Fields, forests or rural areas are used as open bathrooms. Next, the dirt is exposed to rainwater and then carried to rivers, springs, ponds and swamps. There, many people collect water to drink. As a result, Families who drink polluted water suffer from waterborne diseases and have to pay high prices for treatment in hospitals and clinics. In a global view, open defecation is a sign of extreme poverty, where, in 2000, almost 80% of Ethiopians use toilets outdoors and in the open. Beyond the negative image of the country of Ethiopia, this country, which is located in East Africa with an area of 1,104,300 square kilometers, has a variety of interesting facts. Ethiopia is one of the oldest countries in the world, founded around 980 BC. It is even believed that this country is the birthplace of Christian civilization. The existence of archaeological artifacts found in Ethiopia proves that Christianity has been an official religion in Ethiopia since 324 AD and made this country a Christian country before Rome. Ethiopia is one of two countries in Africa that was never colonized by a European colonial power. Apart from Liberia, Ethiopia is the only country in Africa that was never colonized. Ethiopia has a long history as the birthplace of modern humans. The approximately 3.2 million year old Lucy fossil was discovered here in 1974, providing important insight into human evolution. Ethiopia's official language is Amharic, but there are more than 80 different languages spoken throughout the country. Ethiopia has a unique calendar, known as the GEZ calendar or Ethiopian calendar, which consists of 13 months. Ethiopian New Year is celebrated on September 11th in the Gregorian calendar. Ethiopia is the country with the second highest elevation in Africa after Lesotho. The Simeon Mountains are one of the many stunning mountain regions in the country. Ethiopia is also home to Lake Tana, the country's largest lake, which has more than 20 islands and is home to endemic species such as blue tilapia. Ethiopia is home to a number of rare wild animals, including the Ethiopian wolf, the gelada chimpanzee, and the Nekiso ibis. Ethiopia has a long history of Orthodox Christianity. Churches carved into the rock such as St. George in Lalibela is an important site for Ethiopian Orthodox Christians. Ethiopia is home to more than 100 different ethnic groups, and each of these ethnic groups has their own culture, language and traditions. Kofair the word used around the world to describe coffee beans, 
comes from the Ethiopian Amharic language. Ethiopia is one of the world's largest coffee producers, and coffee is an important part of their culture. The traditional coffee ceremony is known as the coffee ceremony. Lalibela, a small town in Ethiopia, is famous for its complex of rock-carved churches, which is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Ethiopia is home to Simeon National Park, which is one of the oldest national parks in the world and protects a number of rare species such as the Ethiopian wolf and mountain kudu. These facts are only a small part of the rich culture, nature, and history that make Ethiopia one of the colorful and interesting countries in Africa.